Hey guys, welcome back to the program. Dr. Mark DeGunther from the Urology Centers of Alabama is here, and he's going to tell us about the link between bladder cancer and smoking. Yeah, two things that don't naturally necessarily go together in your head. But he's got some interesting news for us. Doctor, thanks for being with us. We sure, appreciate thank you it. for having me. Uh, okay, uh, you know what, when we hear about lung cancer and smoking, I think for a lot of us that seems to sort of make sense. Bladder cancer and smoking, they don't, they don't necessarily go together. Uh, but what's the connection there? Well, it is the um, cigarette smoking is the number one risk factor for developing bladder cancer. The second most um, important risk factor is a family history of bladder cancer. But with the cigarette smoking, the same thing that you take into your body through your lungs yeah. gets into the bloodstream and then it gets filtered out by the kidneys. And so all these damaging substances sit in your bladder in your urine and go to work on producing cancer. Wow, that's a scary thought. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh, and I have a colleague who said, listen, I've never really heard of bladder cancer, but you were telling me that it's, it's actually fairly common. T give give me the rundown on that. It's uh, about the fifth most common cause of cancer in the United States, and it is responsible for about 20,000 deaths every year. Um, it is something that is the most expensive of all cancers to take care of in this country. Why? Because people live a long time. There are really there are two different types of bladder cancer. Um, there's a high grade and a low grade. The high grade will often kill people. The low grade, when treated properly, doesn't kill people. So they live a long time, but they need lifetime follow-up and surveillance. Understood. Uh, how do you know if, if you have bladder cancer? What are the symptoms like? Most commonly, uh, blood in the urine, either blood that you can see with the naked eye or blood that shows up under the microscope at a regular um, physical exam and checkup. Some people will have a lot of urgency, frequency, burning when they urinate, um, some symptoms that tip them off. Right. Um, sometimes people present with a what they think is a urinary tract infection and it turns out to be bladder cancer. I, I think you named all of my least favorite medical symptoms uh, in, in 30 seconds. <laughs> no, I can, name, I can name a few more for you. There's some more yeah, bad ones, yeah, aren't yeah. there? <laughs> no, but, but, but in all seriousness, when you start experiencing the those kinds of things. They could be from lots of things, but you don't want to ignore any of those, right? No. I mean, blood in the urine, just like blood anywhere that it shouldn't be. If you have blood in your sputum, blood in your stool, blood in the urine, it doesn't necessarily mean there's a major problem, but those right. are warning signs. It's like the check engine light in your car. You see blood somewhere it's not supposed to be, you need to get it checked. This is something I want to avoid. Obviously, one, one, one solution for me is to stop smoking. Right. Correct. Okay. Uh, what What are some other things that I need to do in terms of in terms of going on the prevention side of it? Well, from a prevention standpoint, cigarette smoking is really the only major thing that you can affect. You obviously can't affect your family history. You're born to whoever you're born to. Um, there are some occupational exposures that will lead to bladder cancer. Uh, working around heavy industrial chemicals, uh, dry cleaning fluids, things like right. that. Okay. So, you know, there are some occupational things. So be very aware of that. If I want to get in touch with you, what's the best way for me to call you? Uh, Call our office at 205-930-0920. Okay, Dr. Mark DeGunther, thanks for the information. Great, thank we you. We appreciate it. Got a little education there. Glad to have you on the program. Thank you.